kids. It might be with certain things that you add along with it for them to practice good characters and behavior. Consider small, meaningful rewards, like packing a special treat in their lunchbox, or picking up a favorite pastry or coffee on the way to school, for example, or promising an ice cream cone or extra you know, screen time at the end of the day. I don't know if I agree with that one. Extra screen time at the end of the day when they come back from school, for example. All of these are small little gestures and incentives that you're giving to your kids. You know, in lieu of what? For example, if you were to go out and take care of your homework, if you were to go out and, for example, make sure the first thing that you do when you come back home is to perform your salat, for example, or other things that you want them to be in routine, go ahead and give them these incentives, which are small, which are minor, which is very minute, that you give them these incentives. When children have something to look forward to, they will be more eager to start their day on the right foot give their best effort. They know something is to look after, something is to be coming afterwards. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I do all these things because there's a reward that is waiting at the end of the day. Hal jazaw al ihsan illa al ihsan. The Quran says, is there any reward for goodness except goodness? Sadhu Allah Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. But on a side note, after these three important, you know, tips, if you want to call it, as the school year begins, let us remember that education is more than just academics, right? A lot of people are well-educated, but that does not, does not entirely mean that they are well-trained as well. It is an opportunity to nurture our children's minds, their hearts, as well as their souls, whether it is the public or the private school. The school provides a unique environment where children can learn not only academic subjects, but also essential life skills. It is a place where they interact with peers, develop social skills, and learn the values of respect, responsibility, and empathy. These experiences help shape them into upright citizens and positive role models. By keeping the why part that we discussed in the beginning of the school in focus, establishing meaningful routines, the second aspect of this tip, and using positive reinforcement, the third aspect of this tip, we can make back to school not just a season of transition, but a time of spiritual growth and connection as well. Even though this time may be grueling for students and taxiing for parents, with a little patience, prayer, and creativity, we can turn these challenges into opportunities to strengthen our faith and our family bonds together. To always convert these sometimes grueling and may have some impact you know, on your physical being and ability to something positive that you look forward to. May this school year bring growth, understanding, and meaningful experiences for our families and our children, inshallah. This ayat that I had decided in the beginning for you it's from Surah Taha, ayah number 114. Although Prophet of Islam, Hadith Muhammad is making this dua, one last point about it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if He asks our Prophet to do something less in Quran, it's ibadah. He says, Ya Yuan Muslimid, Ubin Layla. Illa walida. Don't do too much ibadah. Mm -hmm. Well, here maybe different when it comes to our kid, we might have to get them incentive to do ibadah. Mm -hmm. But if anything, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling Prophet to not do too much and not be excessive, is when it comes to ibadah. Overburdening yourself with ibadah after ibadah after ibadah. So the lesson for us could be in this that yes, while there are so many mustahabbat that are available for us. If you just stick with the wajibat, that is sufficient for you. That is all Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking from you when it comes to your ibadah, the wajib aspect of it. Just take care of the wajib aspect of your ibadah. Don't worry about the mustah part of it yet, inshallah, when you are more spiritually strengthened and you're able to do all those things, you, the time will come. But this is the aspect that you see Quran does not say anywhere to Prophet, don't stop learning. It says, don't do too much ibadah, but does not say, don't learn too much. 
No, keep the door of learning and opportunities open. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us a tawfiq and ability that we strengthen our iman with the knowledge that is provided to us by Muhammad